Greetings everyone, here's Lodric and this is a game War in the Pacific Edmonds Edition. This is the 7th February 1942 turn. Uh, I skipped this before, so I try to uh, show you the missing uh, episode. And uh, because in the 8th February we saw already my activity near to Rangoon. So let's see what happened the day before. This is the match against Kilroy, and uh, this is scenario one with no modifications. So I play here the Japanese, and so far the war was uh, acceptable, good. Here's one of my light cruiser formation uh, trying to pick up a, a allied torpedo boat, but it's not possible to hit it in the darkness. Second attempt, same situation. This time, one less enemy ship. Here's uh, my tanker. This is, I think, import Morsby. Uh, luckily, the torpedoes uh, don't hit or make any detonation. But now, this evil American submarine attack on the surface, and yeah, my ship has still fuel on board, so it's burning. But only two shell hits. But tankers are also easily burning down, so I'm not so sure. Once the tanker is on fire, it's more or less uh, a lost case. And here we can see. It's only a two point cargo ship, so it's not really matters much. You know, the Dutch submarine still in the port of uh, Swabaya, but was not able to hit my local minesweepers. Now it is my turn to hit take the Dutch subs. I'm not more sure if this may be an American sub. But eight hits, even if this is only small damage, it's maybe enough to force this submarine back to port. The question is what port? There's an, maybe Darwin is the best case port for Kilroy so far in this stage of the war. So I start also to pick up the next Dutch bases, most of them are undefended, but all of these bases can hide enemy um, support ships, sub tenders, float plane tenders, anything like this. Luckily, the Dutch sub was not able to hit my minesweeper, so I can now clean up this minefield. And maybe in two or three turns, I can operate already my own ships out of the space. And there are many mines. And if it means the Japanese they have also this destroyer mine sweepers, but I say always fear for them because they are. It's possible to convert them later to acceptable good uh, escort ships. So the best what the Japanese have is really this local mine sweeper. They are very slow and they have no real range. But uh, if you, if the Japanese player is uh, planning a little in advance. Uh, you can bring them in position and you don't must really worry about them because even if they hit a mine it doesn't matter they're so cheap uh, this is uh, east of Brisbane I can intercept one cargo ship nice so and it's sinking so just won't arrive the port but no there is Japanese uh, peace patrol trying to bring order again here to the Pacific And my navy bombers can still um, scout I mean, tar cargo ships or all kind of navy ships, but often they don't want to attack. So 
also a lot of bad weather reports. Some sweeping over Changsha, but no enemy air force. So I have here seven Betty bombers going in for the enemy light cruiser. And then switching to Taro. Yeah, yeah, then we hit the couch. At least one torpedo hit. The Falcons and Demons coming back, but today I have air cover. And this will be maybe a good opportunity to get rid of these light bombers. Ah uh, no. But at least I can kill the demon. Okay, the British are back. Still bombarding my Thai troops. Making some damage but uh, nothing really special. See if maybe in the afternoon more activity. Maybe a second strike on the enemy light cruiser. Oh yeah. But still thunderstorm. Second approach. And ah, no hit. And even the cargo ship can escape. And only on fire, no heavy damage for the cargo ship. Ah. So I find no navy target. Then I go for this is uh, I think air base of Suma. Simply to suppress the enemy scouting airplanes always detecting me here. And I can uh, damage here a lot of Hudsons on the ground. And Vincent's So if I may be able to take the base in the future, I mean in the near future, then maybe all of this damaged airplanes are destroyed on the ground. But uh, this was a successful strike. a lot of recon pictures always to inform me about the situation so that I don't have uh, less surprise because in su surprise in the war is always normally a mm, unwelcome event I mean I want of course surprise uh, Kilroy but uh, I don't want to be surprised by him So, more 
more Bombardment, Seeds of Changsha. And a little more damage to Chinese units. Bombardment of Batavia. Give my troops a little rest. Uh, not really anything game changing, but uh, at the end it's uh, in favor for me. And this uh, Australian force is getting they are defeated again. Heavily casualties on Kilroy's side, but still not broken. They jumping to the next dot bait, ba base. So I will normally load my troops and make a next amphibious assault on this base and not walk in the jungle. So and I also take a small base on Celebrity. And my uh, Navy Guard units crossing the mountains of Sumatra from East Coast now at the West Coast. The counter battery fire from Kilroy. Mm, nearly no change of power. Good. So, a successful airstrike on Suba. Some sub activity. I losing a small two point tanker in Port Moresby. But I was able to sink a cargo ship near to Brisbane and uh, damage the other one uh, with my air force uh, near Java. But at the end, no. and a six hole strike against the American S class submarine. So air losses. Uh, well, I kill many here. Hudson's on the ground. In total. Eight airplanes destroyed on the ground, and the rest is only ops losses, more or less. And ship sunk. I oh no, this was not this me. This was other air. Yeah, okay, this was a better tanker. Uh, yeah, this was a better tanker. So pity. Uh, and really, so you can see. This is normally a tanker with 21 hit points, but two shell hits starting a fire and the fire immediately burned down the ship. So it's a, a tanker with cargo. It's a burning wreck, always. Good, but I was able to hit here a standard cargo ship and a small uh, motor boat plus maybe one enemy submarine heavily damaged. No activity in China, we had no real fight in China, only movement of uh, troops. Um, nothing in Burma, but we will see next turn, uh, my carriers are here already on approach. So next turn you see that I come here close to Rangoon and then strike here against West Ru Rangoon, where Kilroy just come in with his uh, troop transports and then we have a strong first air battle over Rangoon. But this is all in the next turn. And in Java is uh, well, nothing happened really here. Bombardment only Batavia. Picking some bases here. Uh, here was this submarine was successfully really penetrating my defense. And uh, I was maybe, I don't know, sure, sure. Maybe the tanker was too big and was not able to dock. Or it just arrived and was not docked. Because the game often don't dock, you must dock first the next turn by yourself more or less. So yeah, it was an unlucky surprise. And again, with only two shell hits, that is simply too too easy to achieve uh, for a submarine to sink a ship. So yeah, good. But my airstrike here on Suva crippled all or most of this air force on the ground. So. I was hoping that maybe there's an airstrike coming from Suva to my carrier so that I can lure out the air force and kill them all. But they don't want to come to me so I have to bomb the airfield. Good. Thank you all. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.